My name is Balaji Sridhar. I received my undergraduate degree at MIT. I'm a PhD in chemical and biological engineering from the University of Colorado, where I'm also an MD candidate, and I am the CEO and co-founder of Nanoly Bioscience, and I'd like to talk to you about what our goal is. Our goal is to eliminate the need for refrigeration of vaccines and therapeutics. You heard me correctly. No refrigeration. Imagine a world where you don't have to use a refrigerator to keep something from spoiling. The current cold chain market is $8.3 billion per year, with an 11% annual growth rate, and this includes that camel with the solar-powered uh, solar refrigerator there. And with that rising demand of vaccinations across the world and the need to increase access to more people, there needs to be a way to solve this problem. So how are we doing this without a, the expensive and harsh uh, freeze-drying process that's there right now? We are using a low-cost, biocompatible, novel material, which we call NanoShield. So let me tell you how NanoShield works. So we work with the manufacturer to incorporate our NanoShield at the molecular level with the vaccine or therapeutic, and this would protect it from thermal denaturation throughout the whole process. So if you could envision, once we incorporate our nano shield, it would be transported at temperatures higher than refrigeration. Then once you get to the point of care, our secret sauce is you can shine a specific wavelength of light to dissolve away the polymer and inject the vaccine. And so we do, in fact, have a working prototype of this material. On the top left here, uh, we loaded a model protein into NanoShield and exposed it to light, and we can retain everything that we put into NanoShield. We also can protect proteins from thermal denaturation. So on the right, there's a model protein with a similar temperature profile to many vaccines right now. And so in the, the blue graph there on, the, uh, on, on my right, that little histogram, uh, without NanoShield protection, when exposed to 60 degrees Celsius, for two weeks, so 60 degrees Celsius, even hotter than what's going on in the uh, heat strike in uh, Pakistan right now, it's at 18% uh, percent activity. When we have uh, protection with our nano shield, and after release with the, the light, we have around 88% percent activity at really high temperatures. So what does this mean moving forward? So we, can, we plan to go to market by 2017 with this product with lower regulatory hurdle uh, reagents known as in vitro diagnostic reagents uh, such as serum, we would use, and we are actually partnering with a company in Colorado for this aspect. We would use these revenues to help pay for clinical trials that, we would, uh, that would help fund us uh, to work with vaccines in the, in the next few years. And in the end, we would help save the two million lives each year that die from vaccine preventable illness due to a lack of access, mostly caused by this refrigeration. So as part of our team, there are nine of us, this, I'm listing here the, the core members, and we are staffed with both many PhDs who are enthusiastic and are working full time on this product. We have an immunologist and a chemist as well as a developmental team. We also have a business and advisory board uh, and a technical board which have members from the phar with pharmaceutical expertise as well as FDA expertise. And so to give you an, ex uh, an, ex uh, just to give you an example of the the market potential of Nanoly. Using a common vaccine, Tdap, which we probably have had to take when we were uh, younger, uh, the, cost per, uh, the cost of Tdap right now is around $3. A third of that cost is refrigeration cost. So that's about a dollar per dose just to keep it refrigerated. I'm assuming in this thing that it's going to be a third of that cost, so th around 31 cents per dose, so assuming refrigerations get uh, more efficient. And even with that, per year, that's $121 million just to keep this vaccine refrigerated. Just based on our pilot costs, we can uh, cut that down by 50% or save $60.5 million for just one vaccine. And so the, the nice thing about NanoShield is it could work with various different vaccines and take a huge chunk out of that $8.3 billion market. So we have received... Uh, 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 recognition from prestigious institutions such as Duke, Intel, Dell, and Applied Materials. We have also received interest from pharmaceutical companies such as GlaxoSmithKline and Sanofi. What we need is money to help us expedite this research so that we can 
gain more, uh, expand this data set that we can reach an investable position and gain more traction. And so, uh, in the end, this would help us save millions of lives, lower the carbon footprint that of refrigeration, and we can say hello tomorrow to a world without refrigeration. Thank you for your time.